your scent. When that monkey was alive, he was all about weeping and begging for help. Now, even in death, he led all you younglings right to me. This sack of mine can barely fit you all. <laughs> Kung Jing Long. Now that you are ready, go and weigh up this one for your master. <laughs> See if this monkey merits a place among my disciples! <laughs>
<laughs> you have chosen your way. This time, there will be no easy way out. to joining me. Oh, I don't love you. That old bastard has really made for you to use Wukong's relic. Even you let the courtier bend to his will. Yet my ears tell me that the destined one has got the money will. Pity. Reckon it won't be your master who unlocks these metals eventually. These gold symbols are made by our grand master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that? Below. Turtle? Snake? Who cares? I caught a whiff of monkey stench familiar enough for me to tongue by welcome. Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West.
you embrace your destiny, why not you? <laughs>
Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our out. I remember what the Uder said. I I see. Not
That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself.